Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. Come on, damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck, damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has gotta be bad, M.M. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A Code Red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the Prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. My little darlings, you're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a cold red. 
If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. You know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Inman. My dear Inman. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The Princess on Edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Sin, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you. Right now. gonna be a long night. Miss Lewis, welcome. Who's she, Galeb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can lead. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. He is tortured by a demon. We all have one. The beast that preys upon him is a love of money. <laughs> if someone held a stake to his heart and cried your money or your unlife, he'd ask you for some time to think it over. It's his greed, then, that cost him your favor? Everything about him was disappointment. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. 
It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up! Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Counselor Jory is not such here. Long faces. Nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Lido's hey, team Abby. is trying to reach them. Hey, Mm. Nobody's answering? No. Abby, do you know what's going on? I'm sorry, but I can't. Please? I feel like I've been plopped down in the middle of a minefield. There are rumors about Journey. Rumors about how this is all her fault. Did you know that Jay was in charge of the party? Shit. I bet she's gonna take the fall for whatever happened. I don't think she's involved, but we've got to be on our guard. A oh, man. We haven't seen you here in ages now, have we? It's not like I'm doing everything I can to stay the hell away from here. Blunt and to the point, as usual. With a bit of luck, your suffering will be over soon. How's business these days? Why? You want to invest? Don't tempt me. Hmm. I'm shocked to think you put so much as a penny into one of my clubs. They don't bring in enough of your taste, Beryl. You're right. I'm not interested in them. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. I'm waiting for Galen.
What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me? Everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. But now we'll be together forever. We'll be inseparable. Like two peas in a pod. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mom, what's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. Ugh, I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Leisha. It's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. Arsiaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Siaka jumped down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't going to help us solve it.
We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now.
maison. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the Code Red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the Warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel. I'll be the judge of that. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. That's nothing new. That's rule number one of all the Primogen. The contrary would be worrisome. That's what I thought too. But after tonight, well, I wonder. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... What? You've always taken care of your community, M.M., without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? You know what I think of the court. I'm not comfortable there. You'll get used to it quickly. I'm not sure I want to. It's not a question. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. 
I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. No news from anyone. Do you think they're... Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've got to keep our wits about us. Follow me. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Maybe the Anarchs, or the Harford Warlocks. No, no, they, come on, they won't take long. Going. All right, Jay. Where are you hiding? Do you need me? Come on. It won't take long. Yeah. A shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the black rather's rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats.
Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... you might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? <sighs> Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. I know that perfume. Jay. Jay's scarf. Where did you go, Jay? I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani... She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys... How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Underwood and Fang. Lazora's ears must be burning. I didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. Son of a bitch. I don't have time for this. If you say so, the pleasure was mine, Mem. Say hello to your sire for me. Hey. 
Fei Fei. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. I hope it'll work out. Summon Lazarus. Ooh, this can't awesome. be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as a young right. Miss Abigail Van Wolf. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. Uh, but why would she need that? Why now? I wonder. Someone spots me. Battery's dead. This paper must be from the archives. It's pretty old. This page was torn out. She wouldn't have deleted this message if the email wasn't important. Better take a look at it. I've got to hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. Books are gorgeous. Lazarus must have paid a fortune for them. Boston, Boston, Boston. Lazarus knows all of the city secrets. Saw. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay.
classic Kala saw. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. Jay was looking for a file that Jara took from the archives. Interesting. Her last message to Abigail. The file. I wonder where they put it. That could be of interest to me. What were you doing in the archives? Abigail, we've got to talk. I have to find Abigail.
July 9th, 2019, August 31st, 2019, September 14th, 2019, someone took the file on the reunification party. There's a file missing. Why won't she answer? Oh, you again. What do you want? Bosley's looking for answers. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Come on, she works for you. You know her. Having friends is the best way to lose your head. You're going to have to swim without my help. You can tell me. My lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but... What if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake. And how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah. There's a good chance of that. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. elevator to get here. Nope. Can't go through there. It's locked. Oh, great. My shadow. Hmm. I wish I... So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? She asked me to go on Fetch Journey. Ah. So, you think this is gonna get ugly, too? How is Hazel? 
She asked a lot of questions. She was a little paranoid. She's losing her grip. Be careful. Why are you telling me this? This is the first time you've ever been involved in a court intrigue. Up until this instant, I've handled things for you. And that was fine by me. If the prince is under pressure, choose your words carefully. I hate the court. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful. No fucking way. Shit. So this what? is where you've been. Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, none. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So you're hiding in Drury's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't have anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? It's gonna be fine, Jay. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you.
Lancia. It's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No, I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything? Possibly about what happened tonight. Uh, I saw images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. It was a long, white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. You don't trust them? You can never be too careful. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. The members of the council have their council lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power. And it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm going to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then, I'll be right back. So this is where you've been hiding. What? Oh, Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? 
You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, Mum. It's a fucking nightmare. Mom, I'm going to Ritzwitz to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. I hope Journey hasn't come looking for the same thing as me. Well, this thing's old. Does she still use it? Oh, a log with a list of everything that was checked for the party. Invoices, reservations, rentals. All from our network. Huh, it's journeys. That's what she was looking for. This is what Hazel asked me to bring her. Looks like one of Richard's Rorschach tests in green. <sighs> Even with the color, I still see the same things always. Blood. Hmm. Nobody here. I'm going to be able to take a look around Dijon's. Salem Gazette.
tarot cards. How fun. The Emperor, the Chariot, Temperance. Easy. Dijon is thinking about taking a trip. Just like New Orleans. This is definitely Dijon's place. Well, well. What have we here? He didn't finish his letter. But that'll be enough for Hazel to make up her mind about him. Huh. It's from an animal. And it's still fresh. He must have done a warlock ritual. Mr. Underwood slammed his door. That's a bad sign. Hazel told me to keep a low profile here. This area is reserved for the prince and her primogen. Shit! Hilda's in her office. She's going to see me. I shouldn't get too close. She might be able to sense me.
These suits. Barrel's as dead outside as he is inside. Hmm. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. How am I not surprised? What doesn't surprise you? For you to turn up at a time like this. The prince had me released. Of course. She needs you. <laughs> I'm guessing she sent you to spy on the council. What do you mean? Tell me, do you remember the last time she pulled you out of your musty hole? It's just that I... You don't remember, do you? You're still having those little memory issues, it seems. And I suppose Halsey's here, too. Of course she is. The more, the merrier. And don't start with me, Beryl. Otherwise... Why don't you go out and play in the sun? And let me get back to work. Work? With everything that's going on. Hazel will appreciate your dedication. Get out! Please! <sighs> That's all I'm going to be able to find out about him. Hazel's gonna be disappointed. Richard's apartment. <laughs> he didn't change a thing, as usual. Mr. Teddy! somewhere else. No, he's not there. Where are you, Mr. Teddy? Richard always liked masks. Like all children of Makov. I see guilt. Richard often asked me. Oh, how many hours have I spent sitting in this armchair for my therapy sessions? Maybe I'll find a way to read it. Mr. 
Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested. So, did you find your Teddy? No, not yet. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Let's go, Sugar Fangs. Laisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests. Including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Deneb Osborne? Yes, he seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Salem Chantry. Did he betray me for the Warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project, but that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh, I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. Go on. I found Journey in Jara's office. How did she get in there? I don't know. But Emem joined her. It's like there's no security here. But do go on. I want to know everything. What did you see? They talked, and Emem told her that you wanted to see her. She told her she had to bring her back. Journey agreed. That's it. Was there anything else? Journey was going through Jara's desk. She was looking for a file. A record with proof of the precautions she'd taken in organizing this party. Did she find any? She didn't find it. But I did. That's perfect. More than I expected. Give it to Delson on your way out. I'll take care of it. That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Laisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon. As that's where he does his research, I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Laisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Laisha.
M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right, I'll be waiting in the next room. Delson. Zori, it seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. How many of us were there? Probably a good 20, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jara Drury, were already there. Mm, you might have lost two members of the Primogen. 
What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? I don't know. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Anseli heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. May I be of service? Go and see Caius. With Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb. Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit! I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake! My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject f I call it respect. This is the kind of thing you delegate to a retainer under normal circumstances. What matter is so urgent that you've come to see Caius yourself? If you don't mind, I choose not to entrust this task to anyone else. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng, a name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah. You're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Uh, Dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. <laughs> Need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. Barrel's handwriting. He was trying to contact his associates.
Mr. Bazori. Can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. How long has it been since we've had an alert like this? I've got no idea. Blood tests from the Red Salon. It's gonna be a long night. Were you able to reach your contact? No, still nothing. I don't like this. Caius' office. The key card must be in there. Security has been increased to the maximum. I've never seen anything like it. Shit. What? Ross didn't make his report. We're gonna need more hands here. The other should be securing the line. A list of ingredients and side effects. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What? Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The Prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer. One of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer... And you're the one who received the code red, personally. It arrived directly here. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she... Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? Any sign of Jara? 
Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been... There's one thing we haven't considered. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? Hello, you. Sh you. Sh what? The P and J. There. And I off. I'll. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut think. Cut her off again, and I'll slit your throat. Oh. Excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough! You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galen. The Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moore's and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring Moore back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who's able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then, I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. Mem goes alone. Why don't you send Dijon instead? Enough, Hilda. Dijon has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions.